Well, Corco, your brew is very good indeed. <laughs> Splendid! <laughs> hey, Marin, I've been wanting to ask you for a while now. How did you manage to survive that lethal injury delivered by one of the Black Horsemen? Oh, if it hadn't been for Folner. A uh, good thing I wrote about this in my memoirs. It all started in the stronghold of the Five Worlds. As you recall, Folner and I had failed to stop the darkness, and it did manage to reach the top floor with the portal of the universe. The horseman struck me with his dark force. My life was slowly leaving me. You left to follow him, and in a few minutes we heard an explosion up above. Shards started to fall down on our heads. With my last bit of power, I created a dome which saved me and Fulner. Fulner? Fulner? Are you alive? Marin, my friend. Blessed Mountor, you're alive. Listen, I have a bunch of... Mash it up until it becomes like ointment. And uh, put it on my wound. Then take me to my hut. I'll tell you what to do next. When we get there. Oh no, the rubble from the tower damaged the mill. I hope everyone's safe and sound. Oh, there's Marin's hut on the hill at last. I need to take him there.
Marin, you're awake. How are you? Forgive me, old friend. I'm completely at a loss. I don't know what to do. The medicine will help me for a little while, but it won't heal me. It's not a simple wound. It's a touch of darkness. Listen, on the other side of Dark Woods lives the Druids. They are a whole guild with a settlement on the edge of the forest. Bring me to them. They have sufficient knowledge to help me. Take the cart. It will be easier to transport me. The forest is dangerous and hard for a horse to travel. So keep to the edge of the forest. I feel I'm so weak. This is the key to my hut. Just in case you need something from there. Please, hang on, friend. I know what I need to do. And we set out. We rode along the edge of the forest all night long. I was unconscious the whole time. Volner also fell asleep. And when he woke up, it was already morning. The horse stopped moving. It was exhausted and hungry. Not to mention the road had ended at some old fort. What happened here? Let's look around. So 
so many dead bodies. Can there really be nobody left alive? I'd better climb the tower and check inside. Tim, you morons told me you killed everyone who survived. No, stop. I'm not a defender from the fort. I'm a simple traveler, carrying a wounded friend. A simple traveler, you say? But you're carrying a weapon taller than you are. Tell me who you are, or we'll put an end to you. I'm Fulner, the dwarf. I wouldn't be a dwarf if I didn't have my trusty hammer on me. A dwarf? I've heard of dwarves. You all live underground, collect treasure, and know your way around all kinds of devices. Well, I'll spare your life if you help us. We seized the fort because we heard it's packed with treasures, hidden beyond a door operated by some odd mechanism. We orcs don't know much about that, but we do like gold. Find that treasury, open it, and I'll let you go, and leave your weapon with me. Yes! <laughs> Thank you. 
Damn it. The goblin. I bet he's guarding the treasure. No, 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 you will not come in here. Our deal was that you would open it for us, and that's it. You should be happy I agree to this at all, instead of just killing you. If it wasn't for me, you'd have no treasure at all. Maybe, which is exactly why I'll let you go. Here's the gate key. Your weapons are in the tower. Get out of here before I change my mind. I must have left my things in the town. It was getting dark. After we left the fort far behind, Fona continued carrying me along the path, which sooner or later was supposed to lead to the Druid village. But something unexpected happened. A venomous snake attacked and bit our horse and then hid in the grass. The horse reared up in fear and then fell to the ground dead. In the meantime, I was getting weaker and weaker. Oh no. What should we do now? We'll have to find another way of traveling. Look, a road sign. I'd better check it. Uh -huh. Here's the fort. I'm here. And here's the druid village. Hmm. The ri Up ahead, the river ends in a waterfall. That means the Druid village is nearby. At 
last, I see some... Hello there, young man. I'm looking for the forest druids. Is this their settlement? Oh yes, Romer's my name. I'm no druid, but I'll become one someday. For now, I'm just a servant. I see you're very tired of traveling, hard day? My friend needs help. He's badly wounded and is now lying at the riverbank. I'd like to make a stretcher to carry him to the village. I need some rope. Certainly, certainly. Uh, but the village is closed. If you want to get in, you must give the sound signal at the gates. But last night, a hurricane came through and destroyed the sound device, scattering its parts all around. My mentors gave me these instructions for restoring the apparatus. If you help me with that, we can get inside the village more quickly. You can look for some rope around here. I'll go down to the river. And when you make the stretcher, I'll help you move your friend to the village. I'll stay with your friend while you're busy with other things. Hey there. While you were away, I found another bottle from the xylophone. I'll help you move your friend, but the gates need to be open.
A young servant by the name of Romir helped the exhausted Folner carry me to the village. The druids healed me, and I decided to settle in their village. Since then, nobody has ever called me Marin the Hermit. After some time, I was chosen as head of the guild. Years later, the demons awoke in the Bashar Volcano, and I needed your help yet again. I don't need anyone to tell me how all that happened. <laughs> <laughs>